history this morning at Cape Canaveral, where Space Shuttle Atlantis and its four-person crew touched down just before 6 a.m. Eastern, bringing to an end NASA's 30-year shuttle program, and with it a singular chapter of American history, and ABC's Lisa Stark was among the record crowd there. And good morning to you, Lisa. Good morning, Josh. It truly was a picture-perfect landing as Atlantis came down. A few thousand people, invited guests only, many who had devoted years of their lives to the shuttle program along the runway here. They applauded as the shuttle landed. It's really so bittersweet as they were watching the end of an era. And in fact, NASA will put a permanent mark on the runway where Atlantis touched down as a testament to the 30 years of space shuttle flights. And the three orbiters and a prototype will now become museum pieces on display around the country. But the bad economy, Lisa, has touched even NASA. So what is next for the organization? Absolutely. Uh, a lot of pride today, a lot of handshakes and cheers, but tomorrow reality really sets in. 4,000 pink slips go out tomorrow to NASA employees here at the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, they will be looking for new jobs as the space shuttle program winds down. NASA administrator today insisting America will rededicate itself to getting humans back into space, to launching them again. But when that's going to happen and exactly how, that's a little murky right now. The questions Josh? to be answered. ABC's Lisa Stark at Cape Canaveral. Thank you for that.